Hey guys, what's up? This is Zach Masters again for Team UK2000. I'm coming at you with the best Duck Profile nominee video reel uh, showcasing the best YouTubers who give the best Duck Profiles. Um, I've taken everyone into consideration. This is not based on my personal preference. This is every single YouTube channel I have ever looked at. I've looked at over a hundred of you guys and y'all are all considered, but I went by, I really went by the number of views and the likes on the video. And that's the only reason why, um, you know, it's not by preference. Because if by preference, then I only pick my favorite ones. What I'm really doing is I'm picking the ones that have the most views and have the most likes and comments. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to break it down to make it as fair as possible because not every YouTuber is going to have comments and likes and a large number of views on your videos. So it's really based upon the fact that you put in a good lot of, uh, a lot of hard work in making the deck profile that you explain really well as far as your choices and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. I'm not, you know, trying to, you know, push anyone out, leave leave any, anyone out in the in the cold. I'm just trying to make it as fair and as open and as compact, but as uh, high variety as possible. If you catch my drift. Anyway, so here are the nominees for best deck profiles. What's up, everybody? This is Silver Falcon 87 here today with my idea of what the very best budget deck of this format will be. And many Yu-Gi-Oh players want to play uh, real cards, but they don't really have the, the finances to support that being on the top tier crap. He's like $50, no Draco sack. He's like What's up YouTube? YG Rush YGO here. And today I'm coming at you guys with my favorite deck. This is becoming my most favorite deck. I'm really loving this deck. It is super fun and can sometimes keep up with the meta. Um of course, this deck gets stuffed up by Macro, but... Awesome half. card. One Zephyros. Um, the reason why you only run one Zephyros is because part of his effect is that you can only use his effect once per duel, so running two would just be not smart. Um, he's good because he's just, you know, your typical 16, whatever, poke, um, overlay, or he's into synchro, doesn't matter. Um, Check your Leo part. Spirit's um, partner in crime. Right. So, uh, yeah, it's also good. <laughs> two Hawks to boost my uh, Warp Sprints to 2800 or more. And when he's destroyed, I get another uh, Tanky or whatever I want. Triple Grapho, obviously, um, the main target for the viruses. He just um, kind of keeps coming back like, all the time. Really good. Uh, three Snow. Then I run three Sombre. His effect is you can banish a Constellar monster from the graveyard to uh, gain one from your grave back to your hand and then uh, normal summon it. Um, or when he's sent to the graveyard that turn, you can summon a Constellar monster without a tribute. One less tribute, rather. Uh, three uh, spikes. Can't they, they make? They're, they're they make the deck. Can't, they, they make the deck. I'm sorry. They make the deck. I run three three spikes. Three Aqua Spears because because I run Double Dweller and I like the fact that I can get a boost from Double Dweller. I like being a triple, uh, triple Blaster, Triple Tidal, Triple Tempest, Triple Redux. I just got the secrets last week. <laughs> nice. I bought three of each chain. Oh, that's sick. Like another. They, do, they look nice too. They do. They just stack next to each other, so I have to pile <laughs> shuffle after everything. This is your deck profile of two, January 2014 Aliens. Now I don't put Aliens that often, it's kind of a deck that I always kind of go back and forth to whenever a new format starts. I play around with the deck a fair little bit, um, but it's not usually one of my main, main decks. So I've um, been trying different variants with the deck, and uh, this is one that probably I like the most at the moment. Um, so for the hero engine, we're running the three Neos Alias. Um, it's a 1900 beat stick, 1900 beats, 1900 really doesn't do that much like it used to, but it's still a great card, it's a light target for Alias, which is an amazing card in this deck, and uh, it's a Gemini for Gemini Spark, and that's really all you're going to use it for. And plus, you're most likely... Alright, two false rolls, one air bellow, three full home knights, two bogart knights, three dark soul, this is three chaos, whatever you say. Um, three Pollocks, uh, three Arbogini, and three Sunbow. And I'll play one I have three Thunder Seahorse, the staple, the main search for the deck. Discard to add two level four, 1600 or less. 
uh, light Thunder Monster Team Okay. And you add 500 and... Monster Run 3, uh, monster, uh, yeah, Gemini Hero, uh, New Salius, uh, Free Bubble Mans, uh, Elemental Bubble Man, wins, uh, when you have no cards in your hand, and this is the only card. Uh, one of each Dragon Ruler. Uh, they're floaters, they're great, they're big, they're your win condition-ish. Uh, uh, one of each baby, obviously Debris. Is. Um, Staple Monarch, he's the boss. Uh, just amazing, amazing card. Uh, it's just monster removal all day. And then you move on to the three Ryza. Um, still an amazing card. Three Scrapyard. One Dark Hull. Two Creature Swap. It is overpowered, but only for light swarms. If it was a generic card, maybe it should have got limited or banned, but it didn't because there's no point. Two Arsenal. I'm playing two quick because I'm bad. I'm playing two Sizen. One Strategist. Or Lindy. Three Vis Pike because of uh, evil swarms mostly. Two Gundy. Three Dragoon. Three heavy entry, mostly because of evil swarms. That's um, a spell card. Okay. Awesome. Katika says, uh, when an artifact monster special summon, draw one card. You must control this. After face. that, we have some targets for him and also a very good beat stick with evil swarm Thunderbird. Whenever a card effect is activated, you, he can banish himself and he comes back during the next standby phase. It's in the grave, destroys a phase of card when it's in the grave. Crane doubles the attack of a face-up beast warrior, and honest, of all light monsters, it, um, adds the attack. Uh, then watch Rap. He's alright, the, the only situation I would like him, I think I'm gonna go down to two, just because the only situation I would use him in, is I would, um, summon him. Okay, so we saw the best deck profiles, be sure and comment below, liking your favorite Yugi Tuber deck profile, say hey, best deck profile for a Keto Dotetsil, or best deck profile for a Speedy 2248, or best deck profile, you know, for the Kiko 25 times. Uh, you can only vote once per YouTube per category, and don't forget to vote for your favorite Yugi Tuber to watch, and the next great Yugi Tuber. So you can vote in the comment section below by saying next great Yugi Tuber, or most fun to watch, Kanmar, or whoever you want to pick. Anyways guys, uh, please comment, like, subscribe, thanks for watching, and remember to spread this out as much as possible to all your friends on YouTube and family, that way your chances of winning a category in the YouTube Awards are increased vastly. So remember to be socially active with this, that way your chances of winning increase greatly. It's not just for the benefit of advertising for the YouTube Awards, but it's for your benefit as well. Anyways guys, if you have any questions, please email, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I will be stopping taking applications by January 17th for additional candidates for the YouTube awards. Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to email. We'll be more than happy to help you out, answer any questions you have, and uh, I'll catch you later.